Hello and welcome to Beaver Off-Road on YouTube. This is a quick video to show how to install the four-point harnesses that will be sold on Beaver Off-Road in the coming future uh, and how to install it in your machine. First thing you're going to have to do, obviously, is you're going to have to remove your seat because you want to remove the stock uh, mounting point for the stock belts, which in this case was in mounted in this location on the firewall in the back. And what I've done is created a panel to plug that hole up so dust doesn't continue to go through there. That's part of the problem with the stock uh, seat belt system. Besides, it doesn't hold you in very well. Now, the belts I will be selling and that I'm using in my machine are RJS Racing Equipment Incorporated. They're from Hazel Park, Michigan. Uh, they are a full drag racing equipment company and they make a really good racing belt. Uh, four point and five point harness if you wanted to go with that uh, at a really good price. Uh, I've just added carbo padded uh, for the straps, whichever you want to use. Uh, the pads that I'll be selling are yet to be determined on Beaver Off Road. But the whole system is pretty easy. Once you remove the stock system, uh, you are going to need to drill a couple holes in the floor because uh, the seat belt needs to wrap around underneath the seat. They come with uh, a bolt that has a swivel system on it and your loop. These will already be attached. You're going to drill holes of equal spacing between underneath the seat and you'll bolt them through the floor. Now you'll want to put a series of big fender washers underneath and uh, a couple of them stacked up to make sure that you have a really wide mounting surface and for any reason that belt is very unlikely to be able to be pulled through the body in a very hard impact. Now as they're mounted in here, uh, you have your seat. Uh, on my particular unit, I have an automotive style buckle just because it's easier to use when you're not in that off-road situation and you're still wearing your seat belts. Uh, for day-to-day -day daily driver use, it's a lot easier to use that way. Now the mounting points for the back are just, uh, you have four bolts on your roll hoop system. You can remove the two back bolts and it uses a 12 millimeter socket. It's an 8 millimeter bolt and there's plenty of length in that bolt to put your, uh, your straps for the back. The, uh, the seat belt kits come with the ability to be able to hook it to a roll bar or the mounting tabs and your adjusters and you have uh, more than enough belt in these systems to be able to set it up and it's just a matter then of uh, making the adjustments and getting the buckles where you want them and where they're comfortable for your size and be able to pull them tight where you need them and be able to loosen them up. I'll go around to the other side for a second and show you one that's mounted on a seat already. And you can see again, this is the automotive style buckle. Just clicks together. Hit the button to release. These are four point. There is no crotch belt that's going to come through there. Uh, but these work awesome to be able to do. When they're mounted through, you have your adjusters that you just lift up to loosen, pull them tight pull tight there. You have your chest straps that you just pull tight and secure yourself in. Now you can see how this is mounted behind the seat on the molding mounting bolts. You have your adjuster loops and uh, you want to cut the belt off so you have a little bit of material through there. Uh, roughly about three or four inches. You have to consider that if you make a really hard impact you don't want the possibility of that belt cut too short and being able to come out of the adjuster and through the loop and releasing and not holding you in the vehicle. So once you get the extra belt, you'll want to cut off and leave about three or four inches on each side of that. And that's pretty much all there is to installing the four point harness. Uh, it will require you drilling new holes to the floor, but it won't require any holes to be drilled. And right there, and these are really good heavy duty uh, racing harnesses that are sold for drag racing and other forms of racing. So they're good quality belt, and Beaver Off Road will be offering them at a really good price. Thank you for watching Beaver Off Road on YouTube.